Hi everyone, myself and Uma Mageshwari, Assistant Professor of Physics from KSR College of Arts and Science for Women, Tirchangud. Today I am going to discuss about the topic Thermal and Statistical Physics. In science and technology, we very often want to describe or relate the properties of the macroscopic objects containing unimaginably large number of particles. In this context, we can think of macroscopic as meaning big enough to be seen with a microscope. We know pretty well how individual particles behave classical or quantum mechanics so can we understand properties of macroscopic objects by solving equations of motion for all the constituent particles? No, there are just far far too many. The macroscopic description of a system of the particle sizes 10 power 23 may involve only a few variables. Simple systems denoted as the macroscopically homogeneous, isotropic, uncharged, large enough that surface effects can be neglected, not acted upon by electric, magnetic or gravitational fields. Only those few particle combinations of atomic coordinates that are essentially time dependent or macroscopically observable. Such quantities are the energy, momentum, angular momentum, etc. There are thermodynamic variables in addition to the standard mechanical variables. Thermodynamics is about the form's energy that can take and how it is transferred from one form to another. Since we presently believe that we know all the forms of energy that are relevant for biological process and we know that for the universe as a whole energy is conserved. The key thing is not that energy is conserved but rather where does it go? This means that to study energy transformation we have to divide our universe into parts and look at how energy are transferred between the parts. We have to divide the universe into the part we are paying attention to and the rest of the universe the part we are paying attention to is called the system. There are three types of systems namely open system, closed system and the isolated system. The schematic diagram for those three systems are definitely given here. We build an understanding of how energy can be distributed through the chemical, thermal and mechanical levels and how the randomness inherent in thermal motion affects the natural and spontaneous distribution of energy. Heat and temperature. The basic concepts of thermodynamics including heat, temperature and pressure can be developed macroscopically without an understanding of the underlying molecular theory. This section discusses those basic ideas. The first one is kinetic theory, the second one first law of thermodynamics, third one second law of thermodynamics. Kinetic theory. The dilute gas and the ideal gas law provides a natural place to develop a first understanding of how random thermal motion leads to macroscopic effects such as pressure and temperature. First law of thermodynamics that states the principle of conservation of energy to thermal systems relating internal energy and macroscopic work. System thinking is critical here. Second law of thermodynamics. It's due to the large number of particles in the systems. We typically consider the randomness of thermal motion averages out and leads to a number of powerful tools including entropy, free energy and fluctuations. Thank you.